Told you what to chase. Told you how to run the race. Yeah. Leah, can you tell you two what you said about the basket? I'm the basket. The dinosaur basket. No, Leah says she like it. It's so pretty. Mm. You not gonna tell you two how you like it? Now coming from a baby, that's how you know we doing good, y'all. <laughs> Leah says she like it. It's so pretty. So coming from a baby. That's all. That's who we we need to get rating us for these baskets. Where are all my friends? Let me show you this too. All right, y'all. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you these three basket ideas. As you can see, I'm wrapping this one now. But I I'm not out of baskets. Thank you. You like all the baskets? I'm not out of the baskets. They pretty? From what we showed, Mickey Mouse. Okay, well, I was Mickey trying to get my credit Mickey to let y'all know how amazing these baskets Mickey is. Mouse. Um, this one, I just wanted to show y'all this. I started this video off this way to show y'all. Um, this is how I'm doing the baskets, and, um, the tall ones, and also the chairs. So, this is how I wrap this chair. I just basically put the bag upside down, and boom, there we go. As for the um, ribbon, I take the ribbon down. Let me try to fix it. Y'all see, I take the ribbon down. That's the tape on the ribbon, if you can see. So, yeah, I put it on there backwards, and that's how I got this basket, that basket. But in today's video, hey, 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 why y'all come here talking? I'm sorry about that, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be showing everything I put in these baskets, how much I spent, how much I'm selling it for, and um, how I got this box filled up. Other than that, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Go ahead, if you do, give it a thumbs up. Let's get it started. First thing I'm gonna do is take this USPS box that I got um, online at USPS.com for free. You're supposed to be using these free boxes as um, supplies to ship through them. But I do do a lot of shipping through USPS for my treats business. So, you won't mind if I use these for my basket business, honey. All right, so I'm using one second. You see what I'm doing? Okay, so I just take this box up. This is what size is this? Don't tell me I know that. Okay, there you go. All right, y'all. That's the size of it. It is 11 and a half by eight and a half by five and a quarter. One four. So basically, you can find some boxes online the same size, order them, pay for them if you want. Or you can do like I did, go and get them from USPS. These boxes fit directly inside of the USPS boxes. That's a large box. I know I did get people ask um, a couple comments. The last couple comments I've just been watching asking for me to wrap it on, online with y'all. And um, I'm going to set the link to the description of the video that I've already wrapped in the description down below. So you hit more under the title of the name. You hit more. Then hit more again. You'll see the link down in the description, okay? But this is my Minnie Mouse that I've wrapped. I got this wrapping paper from Dollar Tree. And I was able to get two boxes out of it. So what I do next is, and like I said, this is a large flat rate box. What I do next is, I'm going to take this box, take my tissue paper, and I'm going to leave most of it up front. But I'm going to go ahead and push it in in the back and on the side. And go ahead and put it inside my box. Okay, because I had one where I had already put it inside the box. And when I did that, it just, it was hard for me to go ahead and push this in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put me some shredded paper in the back. And, of course, I need packaging paper to cover up the front. Oh, do I got some packaging? Yeah, I got some balled up already. All right, so excuse the noise, y'all. All right, so I took that. Now I'm gonna put the rest of my little tissue paper in. And I'm gonna put me some shreds on top. I can use another little piece right here. Y'all, 
y'all i cannot wait to get started on mother's day i have so much stuff and ideas i can show y'all but i feel like it's so far away but for anybody that's doing them like hundreds at a time and still got to work in between i feel like i still need to go ahead and get y'all videos out there hey, um hey, i'm hey. making a video what do you want me man if it's not something that you can say on youtube tell me in a minute okay where's right. my yeah, so I okay, I, I hid in a second. I hid in a second. I'm almost through. All right, child. I swear, don't nobody want me to let me here doing the video. I swear. You see what I'm doing? I'm just adding the fruit shreds to the back before I get started. And I got some in the front. Now, as I do it, I'll add more if needed, but this just to cover up that box a little bit, and I'm definitely going to add more after I'm done. Next thing, I already have one over here, and I'm going to kind of knock both of these out at the same time. I'm loving doing them at the same time. I'm going to do my two boxes at the same time, and then I'll go back and do my chair and my bag. So, well, actually, I think I want to do my bag first. How about this? I'm going to put out all my mini stuff show you what i have and then i'll come back and show it to you wrap so what i did i took a little box i got from bath and body works when my stuff came in just to hold all of the mini stuff i got and at first i was only getting like two or three of each item because i was like okay i'll do like three mini miles baskets see you later, auntie. all right see you later your girl um i got three of these paint sets well i got the paint sets that's enough for three baskets i have jump ropes but i think i thought i had more and i I don't. And I just seen some yesterday at Dollar Tree. So this was at the beginning when I picked up my mini stuff. I was like, okay, I'm going to get two of every character so I can do so many baskets. And as you can see, it's not been working for me because I'm running out. I know for a fact I'm doing these two boxes that I wrapped. I have that big bag and then I have two chairs. So that's five already. So that's not going to work. I'm going to have to go get some more mini stuff. But in the meantime... We already know we can do two. So everything I got two of, I'm going to just sit down. Definitely get those jump works. I think those are going to be real hot for our baskets. Um, at least I got four cups, y'all. I got four mini cups, which is very cute. I also got another style, but these I got from Party City for a dollar. Let me show y'all the other style that I have. Oh, this one is really cute. I got this one from Ibe I got this one from Dollar Tree. This one is cute as well. This one from Dollar Tree, the little red one. Got two of those. That is too cute. And that actually goes with that bag right there. And I'll put the other one with the bag. And what else I have? I have another one in here, mini. I have this one. This one from Walmart. So, yeah, they definitely have a variety of cups you can get. Either Walmart, Party City, Dollar Tree. Definitely have some options on these cups. And why did I get four, five, six, seven, eight cups? But two of each item. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do. I have so many baskets, y'all. I have princess. I have Mickey Mouse. I have dinosaurs. I need to speed myself up. Um, next, I got this from Dollar Tree. A journal. Even though it's probably for a baby because this is Minnie Mouse. She probably can't write. I did get three of these. These are the dry erase boards. Dollar Tree and real nice size to help fill up our baskets. Oh, let me move this out the way, but let me show y'all before I move it. I got my feet in. I finally got my feet in. I just opened this today. I got my feet in. I'm hoping y'all, um, I'm sure y'all probably seen somebody else do it, but I'm going to show y'all how I'm doing the bowls with the two layered bunnies. I got my feet in. I'm going to do that in a second. I got this from Walmart. This is a package of eight um, mini play packs. As you can see, it has two crayons in the back. Just something to help fill our baskets that the baby can play with. Um, and it was $4.95 for this. And I can get eight of them out of there. That helps because I got eight cups. So that means I need to do eight baskets. I have these tissue packs. I got them only because it was a little Minnie Mouse. I know the babies really can't do too much with the tissue. But their parents can wipe their nose. Um, it was four in this pack. I got it from Dollar Tree. This I only found one of. It is a 10 sticky and color activity set. I only got one of those, but it's all good because I only got one of these bath bombs and one of these little puzzles. So those probably go towards my chair. Oh, I got two puzzles. 
those probably go towards my chair or something like that i even only got one of these and the reason being i knew i was doing two so if you see me only have one that mean that's all that, that store had and when i went to another store they didn't have any and like i said i i went to most of the stores to get the stuff that i got don't don't think i just went in there and found a whole heap of stuff i went to multiple stores and also let me remind you just because i'm doing this in a box and a chair and a bag you can easily take this and put it in whatever you have access to if you have baskets if you have um whatever you have take and use that to copy this concept okay so we can still get this money you don't if you don't have no boxes if you don't have no bags which you can get the gift bags that i'm about to show you out of dollar tree walmart they 3.98 get them out of dollar tree um, this Minnie Mouse, I got this from Family Dollars. I don't remember how much it was. I want to say it was like $5.99. But, um, I honestly don't even remember. But I got this from Family Dollar on a Saturday because they give $5 out, $25. I just picked this up to be my free item. And she definitely going to bring out my chair or whatever I put her in. Um, they had these on the go picture set with the markers i got these um they had oh i got four of these i probably got two out of one store and two out of another one didn't know i have this over 150 sticker sets for Minnie mouse those are gonna go good they had a paint set for Minnie mouse i only got one this is actually a good thing to put in there y'all i'm loving they paint sets but i do have it in this kind i have this paint set that i got for Minnie. I'm loving they paint sets for Minnie Mouse. That's definitely going to make our baskets look real good. They had different kinds of this mini set. They had like two different styles. So I did get one of these marker sets. And when you see me layer it, you're going to be like, okay, that came out real good. They had um, a jumbo coloring book. They had different styles of those coloring books as well. So I got a coloring book. I haven't seen any big, tall coloring book like I got for the trolls or anything else. Um, they had this Mickey Friends Farm sing-along set. They should go in my Mickey Mouse, but it looks more of a girl. It's like girly girl to me. And it got Minnie mostly in here, so I use this for my girl. Because I kind of feel like the, the color scheme is giving me Minnie and not Mickey. Um, this was the other option of the marker set that they got. As you can see, that's two different styles. There was another one they had. They had this box paper craft set with some markers in it. And I got two of those. Oh, that's two different styles. Oh, that's two different ones, y'all. So it looks like I'm kind of singled out to two of everything. Except like I might have one something left over or something like that. Um, But yeah, that's about all that I'm putting in here. But let me show y'all. I'm putting everything I got two of going ahead and separating it now but yeah i'm about to show y'all how it looks how it came together and then break it down and show y'all how much i put in how much i spent how much i'm gonna charge let me put it together y'all all right so y'all i have went ahead and finished my um box my chair and my basket like i said if you don't have the um box chair or basket just get you a regular basket out of Dollar Tree, which you definitely can find some mini bags out of there. Um, or just rock the box. Either way it go, you can still use either one of these concepts to go in anything that you have to put it in. I basically spent um, $20 to $22 per item, per each one. Okay? This one I'm going to make for $80. This one is going to be $60. And this one is also going to be $60. Now, it looks like that one should be more because it's bigger. But because I did put the same amount of items in them, which um, was, I put $12 Dollar Tree items in this one, plus the mini, made 13 but that, that was 5 I wronged her out at $5. Um, but she was free, but I still counted her. So, I basically spent about $22 on this one. It's going to be a $58 profit. If I sold it for $75, it's still going to be like a $50 profit. Um, this one I sold for... I mean, I put 11 items in it, Dollar Tree. And I say Dollar Tree, even though a couple of these things was a dollar, like the cup was a dollar, the kind candy, candy was a dollar. This came from, I forgot to show y'all these. These was the bubbles that came out of Dollar General. They was a dollar. So a lot of this stuff I only spent a dollar, but that quarter still helped when I'm dealing with taxes and adding the extra stuff in there. As you can see, I had a little gap here. 
I really didn't too much have anything to put on top of those bubbles. I mean, um, those are Play-Doh sets. So I should have just stood it up and put some more stuff beside it. But once I wrap it, it'll sit, you know, squeeze everything together. So I just left it as it was. But either way, around either one of my items, you can see that it's completely pulled. Okay, so what was I? I was at eleven dollars, uh, eleven items for this one. Like I said, even with eleven items, some of them a dollar tree on a dollar. I just rounded it off. So I have eleven items in this one, twelve items in this one, plus the Minnie Mouse, and then in this one I have what is that? The bag. I have twelve items. So I basically put twelve four dollar tree items in there, and I put fourteen other items, and I rounded these at about thirty five cent. So the reason I round them out about 35 cents, like these chips was about 26 cents. Um, these was about 20 something cents. The Capri Sun was 19 cents. Um, these were 12 cents. Um, a lot of, most of this in there was 12 cents. So I still rounded out at 35 cents. They gave me my tax on some of that stuff, which I didn't pay sales tax on it because I had a sales tax certificate. But I just did that for any little thing that I can include, whether it's the bag, shrink wrap bag, the shreds that I put in here, the little candies I put in there. I just rounded everything at 35 cents. So that made it where I was putting $5 worth of snacks in each one of these items. And the snacks that I basically put in there, I put the Zaps, I put the Animal Crackers, I put these, um, these came from Dollar Tree actually with the Teddy Grahams. Um, the tissue came from Dollar Tree. The Capri Suns I got from Sam Club. I have some Goldfish. Um, I have some Fun Dill. Rice Krispie Treats. Hold on y'all, I dropped some. I got, I had some Cracker Jacks. I put basically all that in. I had a little pack of Skittles. And what I do for each one, I grab one of every item. Oh, I had the tissue. I included all of that within that $5, y'all. All of this stuff in here cost me $5 or less to get filled up in that basket. And that's a lot of stuff, y'all. So, um, let me go over what I have in this basket. This one I'm going to make for $60. Even though I could go for $65 or something like that. They're basically paying for the gift. They got $5 worth of snacks in there, but it could be more. That's a lot of stuff for them to eat on. And they have 11 activities in this one. Um, and when I say activities, candy, I included the kind candy and the cup. Inside the cup, um, these little packs of Starburst was at Dollar Tree. These little pack of bubbles was four in the pack at Dollar Tree. The um, sour patch was at Dollar Tree. Um, let me show y'all the bag. So, that's the Starburst bag. And that is the sour punch bags but i just put those in a cup with some of those chewies they had some chewies like that in the gas stations as well like hanging up in the gas station you know they'd be 99 cent packs you can get some chewies or stuff like that out of the, the fruit is out of the gas station as well dollar tree that i went in had a couple of them but in here i had the fun pack and let me tell y'all before i tell y'all what's in here a lot of that stuff that i was showing y'all y'all know i had three of these I only used two. I had three of these. I only used two. I had three of these. I didn't even get to use now, y'all, because I didn't have no space. I had two of these. Like, stuff that I had two of, I didn't even get to use, y'all. I ended up not even using it, so there go enough stuff. Even though I had two, I didn't even need all of that stuff. I can make a whole nother chair out of this stuff I have left. Um, What I did here was, let me move this out of the way. Hey, so what I did here was, one second y'all, I put a coloring book, you can see the coloring book from the back, I have a paper craft set, I have a, this is that um, paint set that I have, the 150 stickers, the Play-Doh, this is another mini marker set, the kind candy, a play set that came from Dollar, Family Dollar, and I showed y'all all this anyway, I mean wild work, so I'm just kind of going over what 11 items I put in here to give me that cost. I got the other paint set, the cup, and the bubbles. Oh, yeah. And the puzzles. Now, mind you, to make my character baskets, I only honestly have um, two, four, six, eight, nine, and then that. Basically, about nine character items that I did put in here. And if you're basing it off of 125, that's not bad. But that was, you know, that wasn't 125 because it was eight for 495. But 
You're definitely getting your money worth. It doesn't take that much of a character to put in a basket to be able to charge as a character set. But make sure it's full. As you can see, completely all the way around, it's full. I can pull my shreds out a little bit across the front to bring it a little bit more out. But honestly, I'm over it. I don't done enough with this basket and it's give, driving me crazy. Even though like right now I have the edge taped down. Every two seconds, some act like it want to jump out me. So I'm not going to play with it no more. I'm going to leave it exactly as it is. Like I said, $20 in that one. That one is going for $60. That's a $40 profit. So if I made up 10 of those, y'all, that's actually a $400 profit that I will make. $600 and then $400 would be profit. $200 will go back in. So just say if you went and purchased all of this stuff and spent that $200 or just say $250 to include the boxes and stuff like that, you'll definitely make a $300 $350 profit and that's only 10 you can easily sell 10 I would hope so but just keep that in mind the more you do the more money you can make but just please budget your money don't go out there and be going to these stores and spending all y'all change and then don't spend your light bill money but at the end of the day as long as you make it back do what you gotta do sis okay but listen this the chair the chair came from Olives. it was $4.99 like I said this came from family dollars on a Saturday you get that $5 out $25 so you can easily get her for free she might have been $6.99, but all the way it goes, she was free. Get her on a Saturday, put it in a chill. Boom, there you go, $80 with no problem. I put 12 items inside of here, not including her. She makes 13 The items that I did put in here, I have this large coloring book in the back. I didn't show y'all that. Let me show y'all that. Because I was using many coloring books, but then I said, no, I wanted some taller to go on the back of my chair so that it can hold some of my items. So I have this coloring book. Um, this is a jumbo coloring book. I got this out of Dollar Tree. A coloring mat, actually, but it's cute. It got different little Easter characters in there, and it's very cute. It holds up. Mini fall down. One more time, me and her gonna fight. And I ain't trying to fight no Minnie Mouse, no Disney character, honey. Hell, Disney all on my butt, but she need to sit her butt down. Okay, there we go. So, I got the Disney Minnie Mouse from Family Dollar, the cup, that playset. Y'all know where this stuff came from, so I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. And do y'all know somebody commented on my stuff the other day, girl, and said, I repeat myself too much? I'm like, well, you know... Even with me repeating myself a thousand times, why is people still coming and asking me the questions that I don't say a hundred times in the video? So, sometimes I feel like because I see these comments that's over and over and over, that maybe I'm not repeating myself enough. So, sometimes I might do repeat myself enough, but then at the same time, I'll be on say something in my video and I ain't talking about y'all now. I don't mind answering y'all comments. I'm not going to talk about y'all. I ain't doing it, but I'm just saying. How can you talk about me repeat myself, but then people get up under my comments and ask me the same thing I said in my videos ten times? Okay. But we ain't gonna go there, y'all. Y'all know I love them comments. I answer them as soon as I can. We not gonna go there. Let's just skip that comment. But anyway, that's what she said, y'all. But thank you for watching whoever said it. I know you said you follow me. You did probably didn't mean it like that. But girl, I be having to repeat myself. These people be up on my comments asking me the same thing over and over. You gotta see it. I mean, I swear. Like, they be like, where you get that from? Um, I swear I tell everybody where I get everything from in all my videos. But I feel like I'm being petty. Let me just go ahead on. Because I don't want to... You know, make y'all feel like, oh, I'm gonna come in because she gonna come for me. No, I'm not coming for nobody. If I'm saying something, I mean it from the heart. I'm just a jokingly person. I ain't saying it like that, sis. I'm just saying, though. You know what I'm saying. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. But anyway, that's what I was saying. I got the big coloring book back there. I got the paint set, and I might have, I got another paint set up under here, too. That's that big paint set. I feel like she needed more in this basket for $80. So, um, I got the paint set, the coloring book, the jump rope. The marker set, all of the snacks in there. Can y'all see? Y'all see it. Okay, I did add some peeps on top of my kind candy over here to bring my side out. Um, the play set, the play doh, the stickers, the bubbles, um, the marker, little erase marker set. That was the paint set, the mini, and that was about it. That's about all that I put in this one as far as a character base. I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, forgot about that one. That makes nine, and that makes ten. I actually could take her up out of her because she can't even be seen, but I'm going to leave it because I want to make sure it works. But ten items, it doesn't take that much out. The other day, I made a character box, and I only spent about five items to build that character thing. So don't be discouraged when you go into these Dollar Trees and you can't find two or three things of Mickey. It don't have to be all many. It can be many. It can be... Disney princesses add whatever you can add in that basket get your money as long as you got a couple characters in there They can be mixed together because I guarantee some of them babies ain't watching that same character all day long She more than likely watching Minnie um, Princesses Elmo 
ain't no telling what that child met um watching but as long as you can put probably her main character in there add some other little characters in there to fill that basket don't get discouraged if you can't go in there and find a whole heap of many stuff put some more stuff together and you'll be all right don't let nothing stop y'all from getting this money this Easter, okay? We ain't got no excuses. We're going to get out there and we're going to get it. When it comes to the bag, the bag I got from Dollar Tree for $125, the big bag. I told y'all I filled that up with um UPS medium boxes. Two empty boxes. Two empty boxes. I filled it up with that. Then I put my tissue paper on top and some shreds over that. In this one, I really didn't put much as well. I got that big coloring book in the back. I got the stickers, I got the play set, a jump rope, the um, paint set, this tin sticker set. Those are mini um, frizz that go in the tub, some bubbles, the cotton candy, the cup. The tissue just brought out mini. Plus, if it's a little baby, her nose probably running anyway. She need it. The mama going to use it. Then we got some more frizz, like um, valve bomb for the baby why do a baby need yeah that's cute though it's gonna turn pink in that water that'll be cute for a baby to freeze out of that water i got the erase set um lots of little candy filled throughout y'all know that i put 14 different snacks in there even though you can't see snacks galore at your like first eye you can't see it it's all back and through there okay this baby gonna be happy when she opens this up and find all of that stuff in there that jump rope it's just full it's packed you can see it all the way on the sides it's packed i take fun packs i put stuff on the side i like for nothing to be showing it's completely packed if you understand what i'm saying like here you see i got fun deal i put everything i put stuff on my side no space goes left behind you know how they say no child get left behind no space get left behind when y'all doing these baskets fill this space up much as you can throw some candy in there like if you can see i got candy down in my empty spaces i didn't use hay okay i ain't gonna use no hay i'm gonna get that baby some candy no space left behind y'all wrap them up put a nice pretty bow i'm gonna show y'all how i look with the bow on it but as for that y'all that is it that's 65 that's 60 hold up did i say that ain't going for 65 we're gonna we're gonna see about that 65 80 60. now let me tell y'all even though i say 65 i know that i would take 60. even though i say 80 i know that i would take 75. even though that i say 60 I take 55 so I'm always willing to work with my people especially if they have multiple kids I do get out and say okay you got multiple kids I'm gonna cut you a discount then at the same time because these are not traditional Easter baskets any one of these they get they get a free wicker I want to say wicker basket you know traditional Easter basket they gonna get one of those for free y'all they ain't gonna get the toe up when I don't know how that happened I'm gonna tell uh tarts I ain't gonna need to take that back to Dollar Tree I'm gonna keep it but anyway they gonna get one of those for free so they can still do their Easter egg hunt and put their stuff in. This will just be as an Easter gift. Not too much traditional, but as an Easter gift. Anything that you can't find that I found, replace it with something else. Add some peeps in there. Peeps are good to put in stuff. Chocolate, marshmallows. It's endless possibilities with this stuff, okay? Mine's are packed and loaded and ready to go. I'm going to wrap and put a bow on it and that's going to seal it, y'all. But other than that, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I hope you've liked and already subscribed to my video. And let me tell y'all, I ain't coming for y'all in these comments, but let me tell you. Somebody was like, I've been watching your videos all month. I just subscribed. Girl, how you watch my video for a whole month and you just not subscribe? Don't do me like that, y'all. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment down below. I do get to my comments, y'all. I be trying my best. I stay on there for two hours answering comments and still ain't got halfway through. But no worries. You might see... You don't come in eight days ago. You still going to see Yummy Tea Cakes has replied to your comment, okay? Because I try to get them out. But other than that, I'll see y'all on the next video. I appreciate all the love and support y'all giving me. All y'all saying I gave y'all inspiration to get out there. Keep continuing to get out there and make that money, y'all. And um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Success is a finicky thing. And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't